Hi. How are you? I'm Alexa. Hi, Alexa. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Florida. And it's been my dream since I'm 10 years old to move to New York City after graduation and work in the fashion industry. And I ended up getting a job in the fashion industry. But um, the last semester of my college, I all of a sudden got very sick and was rushed to the ER and I was going into septic shock. So um, there was a bacteria that got in my blood and started killing all my organs within hours. I was in the coma for five days and in the ICU for eight. And one in three people don't survive from sepsis and I did, so I'm very, very grateful. But while you're talking, just tap with me. Just tap and talk, okay? Let's just go. I moved to New York. And now that I've been here, I have a compromised immune system, so it feels like I get sick every two weeks. And now I think I'm moving home because I don't have anyone here. You know, I need a support system. I miss my family. But also, like, it's, it's very hard for me to be at peace with the past and how it's affected my future. But most of all, like, how I, I don't know who I am anymore. So emotional freedom technique, which is otherwise known as tapping, is one of my favorite tools that I've been trained to teach now. And what you're doing is you're tapping on these different energy meridians, and they're energy meridians on your head, and your face, and your neck, under your arm, and your karate chop point. And as you tap on these energy meridians, you're also speaking and emoting about what's coming up for you, the pain, the most pressing issue, what it is, I'm so anxious, all this anxiety. And while you're talking about the discomfort and tapping on the different meridians, you're sending a message to the amygdala that it's safe to calm down, that it's okay to let go of that addiction, that it's okay to let go of that fear, that phobia. So, first of all, I honor you for what you've been through. So the big question is, you're in a place with the most pressing issue right now is, I don't know who I am anymore. And from a scale of zero to 10, where are you with the discomfort and sadness around, I don't know who I am anymore? Nine. You're at a nine, okay. So even though I don't know who I am anymore, you can repeat me. Even though I don't know who I am anymore. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't know who I am anymore. Even though I don't know who I am anymore. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I'm scared to face the world. I'm scared to face the world. I'm so uncomfortable with all that's happened. I'm so uncomfortable with all that's happened. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. But I survived. But I survived. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I'm alive. I'm alive. And I can explore new diets and ways of living. And I can explore new diets and ways of living. And with my health, I will live beyond my wildest dreams. And with my health, I will live beyond my wildest dreams. I am supported. And I am supported. Take a deep breath in and just close your eyes. And release. On a scale of zero to 10, where are you with that same most pressing issue? Four. Going from a nine to a four. I want you to keep tapping. There's so much trauma living within you from that experience that even unconscious trauma that needs to come forward, the tapping can heal that trauma. So use it. Okay. Okay, I'm proud Thank of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can I give you a hug? Keep tapping, yes. <sighs>